Hey patrons, hey friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Black Sails season one, episode two. And I'm super excited. Um, pilot episode was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. So today it's just called two for episode two. And yeah, we are going to get into it. If you did not watch the first episode with me, please do so. Go ahead and click right up here, catch up, and then come back and watch number two with me. Um, as I said, last episode might take me, you know, a little while to remember all the names, all the characters, but I do know the main ones. We got Captain Flint, we got John Silver, who, Long John Silver's anybody? I'm sure there's more to come with that. I won't give an in-depth review or yeah, recap of last episode, but basically um, the captain was going to be overthrown by his crew and uh, he was trying to deal with that. Meanwhile, someone broke into his cabin and stole a page out of a diary or journal or whatever that he needs or that he kind of like leads to treasure or it leads to something. It was a log of like something that the, the old captain had. Um, and anyway, he thinks it'll lead them to money, I believe. Guy who wanted to take his job, they ended up fighting and he won. Cap not the guy that wanted to take the job, but Captain Flint won. And so he kind of won his crew back over with his speech. And that's kind of where we are. Some other stuff happened, but yeah, not going in depth. If you need to catch up more, just go watch the first episode with me. Okay, anyway, that's all. Um, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Grab your drinks. Got my coffee. Uh, grab your water, grab your tea. Grab your snacks, if you want to have some snacks with me. And um, let's do it. I'm so excited. Cheers, y'all. Music by Bear McCreary? Okay. Please tell me if he, um, if you guys know, didn't he do the music for Outlander as well? I'm pretty sure, because that name sounds so familiar. I think he did do the music for Outlander. Which, by the way, if you haven't watched um, Outlander, it's a great show. Uh, I would react to that as well, but unfortunately I've seen all of them. Um, the books, the, the show does a great job, but the books, I'm telling you, are so good. It's my favorite series. It's my favorite book series. By the time the smoke clears, my father will have arrived. First time he set foot here in five years. Waving the royal commission that his bribes purchased. Uh, your father is not going to arrive. <laughs> he's been shot. I don't remember if he's dead. I don't think he is. He said this as if it is certain. But he looked dead in the in the. Perhaps you can buy this boat. place. Yes. It's Scott. Can you let Mistress Guthrie know she's needed? I'll be down in a minute. She reminds me of like, God, is there a pirate character? Like cartoon character that's based off of her? Billy. And yeah, thanks to uh, <laughs> one of my Patreon members. Um, Jesus. He he reminded me where oh, that dear. that actor is from, or where I know him from, which is Game of Thrones. You shouldn't oh, steal. He knows. Does he know that he has it? That's what happens. Dang! Look at that guy. Ew, that's gross. Why do they still have his body? Why don't they just like 
toss him overboard. Someone on that deck out there is a thief. Well, it can't be one of our men. How would they have known to look for it? The cook. I found him hiding in the armory, standing over yep. a dead body. Said he was suicide. Did you search him? Whoops. Hold that boat. There will be another. I'm sure you're right, but I understand everyone wants to get laid, <laughs> but we disembark by seniority. Here they come. They figured it out. <laughs> Where are you going to go on a pirate ship? You know? Unless you jump. Oh, which I think he's going to do. Where the fuck is he going? There he goes. I hope you can swim, dude. If I was the captain, I'd be like, just bring the boat back. Crew of ten have just arrived out of Carolina. The captain's waiting for us at the warehouse. Am I the only one that thinks she looks like Karen Knightley? She really reminds me of Karen Knightley. You walked away from me last night and did something very foolish. You can never forget who these men are. They're not our friends. Yeah, that's true. They want your father's business. That is the only reason we do not find their knives at our throats. It seems that Captain Flint has for weeks been chasing a piece of information that would enable the bearer to know the precise whereabouts of the Spanish treasure gallery. Oh, so it is the treasure. Okay. So I was right in my recap. Kind of. And you know this how? Because the thief who stole it from him has offered to sell it to me. He's asking 5,000 pesos for a chance at 5 million. They have no reason to lie to me. They have 5,000 reasons to lie to me. Uh. Please tell me I don't need to explain further. Fuck's this program. He thought that Flint was the only one standing in the way of his being crowned king. So he made it to shore. Didn't I just say, if you were the captain, wouldn't you just say, hey, Bring the ship back. Or the, the boat. Instead of chasing him in another boat? Anybody know where to cook it? Ugh. Uh. What are you doing? Apologies. Don't let me interrupt. <laughs> Way to kill the mood. I don't know. Who do you think you are that you can cost me this money? Necessary, I'm afraid. Flint onto me. And so you come here? What if you were followed? No, I was careful. Careful? You just told me you've been caught. After I get payment, we meet at the boat in the cove and leave tonight. Unless there's something else keeping you here. She loves the girl. But the more you earn, the better the terms. Oh, you enjoy setting terms, do you? I think I'll keep my haul and my profits. No offense. Though you might want to keep that decision to yourself. No, oh, why is that? Because the last fool who uh -oh. down was never seen or heard from again. James Bridge of the Demeter. Charles Vane of the Ranger. That wasn't necessary. But fun nonetheless. I don't have time for this, so if there's something... I want to talk about our business. Actual business or personal business? My crew hasn't been given the same kind of information from you that others currently do receive. I believe it to be personal. I have responsibilities here. I stop providing you with intelligence because I don't like the way you run your ship. Either you're under the illusion that with Flint gone, I have no other choice than to give you what you want. Or you think because you and I used to fuck, you can cross me without any consequences. Damn. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh. Son of a bitch, you made it. 
What the fuck happened on that ship? Where is Singleton? Dead. Gone. Dead. My father's under arrest. A fugitive, technically. I have him on the Warus. He was injured in the escape, but he'll survive. Yeah. Okay, so he's not dead. You don't seem concerned about this. I never much liked your friend. <laughs> By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will give you updates and let you know when I'm recording new stuff and when new stuff is on Patreon, so. Is there a problem, Captain? She doesn't have your page. Flint does. He killed Singleton, took it off his body. It's that is impossible. My partner has the page. What? Mr. Singleton is not the seller, I assure you. Don't fucking lie to me! <laughs> She isn't lying, Charles. Flint is. What? He lost the page. Say what you want about Singleton, but he was neither Get that clever nor that dumb. So now, will you please put her down so we can He'll stop choking her. <laughs> oh, he figured it out. Oh no! What is he gonna do? Uh, watch your eye, dear, do there, dude. <laughs> Oh, you got some blood. It would appear she's telling the truth. Yep. Doubt, Captain Flint, does not begin to describe how I am feeling. I'd settle for a pardon, title on lands, and a governor that I could trust, and so would most of the men out there. True. They're not animals, Mr. Scott. They're men starved of hope. Give that back to them. Who's to say what could happen? In the end, that's all I want. Peace. To walk away from the sea and find some peace. I think we found it. The Urca's schedule was taken from me. When were you planning on mentioning that? Everything's under control. We're close to recovering it. She nearly got herself killed by Captain Bain. I want to know why. Leave us alone, Noonan. You and I have a decision to make, and it must be made right now. I'm about to receive a great deal of money for a service I provided. Max, I need you to give me the schedule. How do you know this? It doesn't matter. She does. The money he can get from his prize, it can give this place a future, can give us a future here. I can protect you. Scott can protect you. You have to trust me. I've spent my life trying to build something here. It's all I have. I can't just walk away. It is not all you have. I will never, ever leave you. I love Told you. Told you. Called it. Miss Guthrie. What is she gonna do? I think she's gonna stay. Come with me. Right now. The boat is waiting. We can be free of this place. She's not gonna say yes. Max, I need you to tell me where the page is. And if I don't, then what? The wreck's at sundown. Max, please. Get the fuck out. I meant what I said. I can protect you. Get the fuck out! Oh, boy. <laughs> There he is. The pulse. He says, you give me the pulse. No. I want him out here. Captain. You want your money, you show your fucking face! That's the only way this gets done! Oh boy. We give this fellow the ah! Oh shit. You sank. Now he has to come out if he wants to uh, sell it. They're gonna find him. Maybe.
He's not gonna throw it in the fire, is he? Ugh. Whoops. Well, at least he fell in the water. Oh no, what is that? Oh, he got him. Where's the page? You can't have it. You're looking at it. The fuck are you talking about? Well, I couldn't be certain I would escape both the madman and you. So I took drastic He burned it? For the sake of my survival. I knew it. Your schedule is up here. Oh, he better memorize that whole freaking thing. Oh my god. I can't believe he did that. Meet our thief. Why is he still alive? It's a long story. Because he, uh, <laughs> burned the pages. I can't believe he did that. Who's this person? Oh, that's the captain. Is he going somewhere? I don't know who that is. Is that his wife or does he have a wife? All right, friends, that was the end of that episode. Great episode. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying. I'm really enjoying this show. I think it's freaking nuts that that guy is that silver. Who I'm talking about Long John Silver or Long John Silver. John Silver is he the guy that um, put the information? Just like uh, looked at all the information and put it in his head, and then burned the note, like the letter. Crazy. Like, what if you, I, I don't know, maybe it's because I just, I feel like I have such a bad memory. And I'm like, what if you forget something? Like, a very important detail. Like, that, that looks like a lot of information on that letter. So, if he's telling the truth, if he actually did burn it, he's crazy. I mean, I feel like it would have been better if he had hidden it somewhere, you know? where he was, like under some rocks, or uh, there's a lot of places it looked like that you could have hidden that thing, um, instead of burning it. I mean, I get it, like, because he's the only one who knows what the information is, he is safe, like his life is safe, so I understand why he did it, but... I don't know. I just, it's risky. It's risky because what if he forgets something? Anyway, yeah, the thing with uh, the girl Kira Knightley look like and then her girlfriend, I guess. I don't know. I knew she, I knew she wasn't going to, to go away with her girlfriend. Uh, I knew that she was going to pick the establishment. When you have something that you've been working towards your whole life and you put like your blood, sweat, and tears in it, and it means a lot to you. I feel like a lot of people would choose that over a relationship, even if they love the person. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Like sometimes it's good to choose that over a partner. <laughs> Am I saying this the right way? I don't know. Sometimes it's better I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, sometimes people get caught, like, so caught up on the concept of love and, oh, I'm in love and it's all that matters and I'll do anything for this person, which is great if you have it. But I also feel like a lot of times love can blind you. There is that saying, love is blind. Um, and you can make some stupid decisions. And, uh, 
deciding to follow your dreams and continuing something that means a lot to you instead of giving it all up just for, you know, a person who may or may not be in your life in a couple years could be the right decision for her. So that's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh yeah. Captain Flynn at the end. Okay. So I don't know who that woman was. I don't know if it was just a random woman. If it was his wife or partner or I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. But yeah, that was interesting. He's hurt, which he should be. Like that was a massive fight in the last episode. So I think that's it for my thoughts for this episode. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Um, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to my channel below so you don't miss any episodes from me. Continue on this journey of black sales with me. Um, I would love to have you. And if you want to watch everything in full without uh, cuts, without edits, Patreon link is below. Um, that's it. Thank you so much, friends. <laughs> Thank you so much, friends. Thank you, patrons. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye. I can't make this shit up, you guys. Literally, as I just sat down to record again. I hear my cat. You probably heard it on the recording. My fucking cat. I was not going to have that happen. What the hell is going on? Starts throwing up and I'm like, great. Time to pick up, you know, more cat puke. But then I hear him like, <coughs> I'm like, what is going on? So I go and look and he has freaking yarn hanging out of his mouth. He's trying to throw up yarn. He gets a bunch of it out. And I try to go over to him and be like, you know, make sure he's okay. He runs away. And then I catch up with him because he's still going <coughs> like he can't breathe. There's yarn hanging out of his mouth. There's more yarn. So I turned off the camera. I was about to run him to the freaking uh, veterinary hospital. And uh, <laughs> by the time I dialed the number and I went back over to him, he had thrown all of it up. As far as I know, cross your fingers. He seems, he's fine now. Like he seems okay. But <laughs> I'm like, am I ever going to finish this freaking episode? First, my computer's about to die. And then my cat's throwing up yarn. I can't make this shit up, you guys. I can't. I can't. <sighs> Let's finish this episode.